Hi everyone. <laughs> uh, thanks for coming. Uh, my, my name is Kota Kanbe from Future Architect in Japan. I'm the oh, uh, creator of BALS, uh, Agentless Open Source Vulnerability Scanner with over 4,000 GitHub stars, uh, which at, at one point was most likely to on GitHub globally. Today, uh, we are going to show you how to automate vulnerability assessment using BALS. As you know, uh, news today is full of cyber security incidents. Just recently, there was a major leak of credit card information at GMO payment gateway in Japan. However, what most people don't realize is that most of these incidents are due to known vulnerabilities being exploited. To fix these vulnerabilities, often all it takes is a simple software upgrade. However, when you have to manage upgrades manually, the simple tasks become, uh, becomes extremely, extremely difficult, especially if you are dealing with multiple projects and many servers. I know this from my personal experience. When I was responsible for over 100 servers, I had to check NB NBD, National Vulnerability Database, every day. As you probably know, the, the NBD has more than 10,000 new entries annually. I then had to check each server to see which server need, needed to update. To update. Since the servers were running on different environments and uh, inspection methods were different from server to server, uh, this was a very challenging and stressful process. Very stressful process. My inspiration to find the solution for this problem uh, came during a month long stay in India and Nepal. I was staying at Buddhist temple and after speaking to uh, some of the people there, I became I became inspired to make a greater contribution to society. As an engineer, I decided the best way for me to contribute would be through developing open source tools to help other engineers, uh, to help other engineers facing the same problems that I had. That's when I came up with the idea for Paris. World of Peace by Open Source. Woo! <laughs> okay, Paris is open source agent rest vulnerability scanner. Uh, first, BALS logs into the server via SSH and detects the software installed. And then, referencing the sources such as NBD and OBAR, and BALS uh, detect finds the BALS finds the vulnerabilities present in the software. This. Vulnerability information, including the CBSS score and other details, is then reported to you via Slack or email. And you can also use Web UI, open source Web UI, or integrate BALS with BI tools to view the 
uh, detected vulnerabilities information. Okay, next. Another committer of VARS, Mr. Tepe Fukuda, <laughs> introduce you to more depths of VARS. Yep, Fukuda, nice, nice to meet you. <laughs> my, my. Hold on. Hi everyone. <laughs> My name is Tepe Fukuda, also from Future Architect in Japan. Uh, <clears throat> I'll be talking about technical features, scan methods, and other unique features of VARS. First of all, imagine that you're an administrator responsible for a number of systems. Of course, not all of, of these systems are going to be operating on the same environment. You might have some systems running on premise with others on the cloud, on AWS, on GCP, or Azure. Additionally, you might have some systems in Docker containers. On top of that, you have to manage vulnerabilities and defend and protect all of these servers from all sorts of attacks. Uh, this can be exhausting, uh, stressful, uh, and sometimes feel altogether impossible. But it's okay. There's a tool that can help you. Virus. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, virus can be used either on premise or on the cloud. Uh, this means that you can use the same tool across all of your servers. An additional feature is that virus also handles uh, dynamic scans of running Docker containers. And this helps you management vulnerabilities and defend against attacks. Now, Imagine that you're an administrator responsible for a number of systems. Of course, uh, not all of these systems are going to be operating on the same environment. Uh, you might have some systems running on Debian, uh, some on Ubuntu, some on CentOS, uh, some on FreeBSD, and some on Resubian, and so on. On top of that, you have to manage vulnerabilities and protect all of the systems from all sorts of attacks. As I mentioned before, this can be exhausting, stressful, and sometimes feel it is impossible. But it's okay. <laughs> because, as you already know, there are two that can help you. Virus. Yes. <laughs> uh, virus supports uh, all of operating systems I mentioned. <clears throat> uh, this means that uh, you can use the same tool across all of your servers. Uh, also, this helps you manage vulnerabilities and defend against attacks. Uh, as you can see here, Virus uh, supports a wide over operating systems, uh, such as Red Hat Enterprise Linux, and Oracle Linux, and Amazon Linux, and so on. Uh, in regard to FreeBSD support, Virus uh, was introduced in an article in BSD Magazine. Uh, please take a look if you are interested. Now, imagine that you're an administrator responsible for some servers. Uh, let's add a few more servers. And even more servers. And just a few more servers. And, okay, uh, you might have some system, uh, you might think uh, installing bars on all of your servers is going to be a challenging task. 
Uh, this can be, uh, you know. Uh, <coughs> but you don't have to worry. <laughs> uh, verse, because verse is agentless. Uh, this means that all you need to do is install bus on one server. And you can connect to the other servers via SSH. And conduct scans remotely, as shown here. But what if you can't use SSH due to company policies, etc.? <coughs> it's OK. In addition to remote scanning, BARS also supports local scanning. Uh, install BARS on servers that you want to scan and conduct scans locally. <coughs> Next, uh, I'd like to give you a quick demonstration of a remote scan with BARS. <coughs> First, uh, one of the biggest strengths of BARS is just how easy it is to set up. Uh, on the left side of the screen, uh, you can see the BARS setup screen for the Linux server. And on the right screen, uh, you can see the Linux server that will be scanned. Oh, too small. Uh, first, the IP address uh, of the Linux server that will be scanned on the right screen is this. And the toggle file on the left screen, a toggle config file, uh, is used to connect to the servers on the right screen. So the host variable is the IP address of the server on the right screen. So the, this is the same IP address. And the username is uh, the same. Uh, in this case, uh, bars. <clears throat> uh, before we start the scan, uh, we should check whether the config settings are set up properly by bars config test command. Finished. Uh, looks like everything's set up OK. And we are ready to start the scan. So let's start the scan. Uh, by bars scan command. Finished. Uh, as you can see, uh, one of the additional strengths of BARS is how quickly you can conduct scan. Uh, in this case, the scan only took about 10 seconds or 20 seconds. Uh, but uh, what, uh, depending on what you are scanning or uh, mode you are scanning in, uh, such as fast scan or a deep scan. Uh, this is a bars scan mode. Uh, it might take a couple of minutes, but even then, uh, it's still pretty fast. Uh, now that the scan is finished, so we can view the scan results. <coughs> First, uh, we can check the summary of the scan results by BARS report command. <coughs> In this case, uh, the server that uh, on the right screen uh, has 11 vulnerabilities. Uh, there are a few ways that you can check the scan results. Uh, you can view results with BARS repo. A BARS repo is the uh, open source viewer for BARS. And TUI, text-based user interface, or terminal-based user interface. 
And you can also get notifications of the results by email or by Slack. First, uh, I'd like to show you the Bubbles repo screen. Bubbles repo. On the Bubbles repo screen, uh, you can check the scan results on a pivot table. Uh, you can also change the items uh, listed in the axis of the graph. So you can arrange data by container name, server name, and CVID ID. Alternatively, you can arrange the data by CVID ID and package name, and so on. And there are the online demo that you can try, so please check it. <coughs> of course, the Bubbles repo is really convenient, uh, but uh, looking around the room, uh, for some of you, uh, this screen color schema may be a bit bright and hard on the eyes. Uh, so for people who don't want to leave the world of t uh, command line interfaces, we have got PUI. Uh, we can launch TUI by Valve's TUI command. <clears throat> uh, the TUI, in addition to cool looking, uh, allows you to quickly and easily view scan results in a very simple format, uh, as shown here. And you can use the beam like uh, keybind. And uh, as I mentioned before, uh, in addition to these two viewers, uh, you can receive the notifications of the scan results by email or by Slack. Uh, as you can see here, the notifications on Slack provide the detailed information on vulnerabilities found on your servers. Uh, as I said earlier, uh, Bars has two modes for scanning, remote and local. Uh, this means that you can use Bars uh, in, in the way that best fits your environment. Uh, some people mistake Bars for penetration testing. Actually, Bars scans are non-intrusive. Uh, because uh, Bars only checks security updates on the server. Uh, this means that pre-authorization isn't needed when scanning on the cloud, uh, such as AWS and so on. Unlike penetration testing, uh, since Bars scans are non-intrusive, uh, it works well with continuous integration, uh, such as Jenkins, Circle and Travis CI. Because you can scan servers and detect vulnerabilities and fix them anytime you need, uh, weekly or daily or hourly, uh, so on. Uh, this allows you. Uh, to find vulnerabilities very quickly. And next, uh, one of the reasons behind the high quality scan results is the multiple databases that Bars uses. Uh, I'd like to introduce three of those databases over security advisories and the change log. First of all, Bars uses OVAR, the Open Vulnerability and Assessment Language. OVAR allows the security uh, vulnerability information, including remediation advice, to be written in machine processable XML format. <coughs> uh, this allows the process of uh, checking vulnerabilities to be automated. Uh, OVAR is maintained by major organizations, uh, including Debian, uh, Canonical, uh, and so on. 
The following slide uh, gives an example of OVA. Uh, one XML file is generally created for security update, for each security update. Uh, this XML file uh, is about uh, Git, Git vulnerability. Uh, <clears throat> as you can see, in this XML file, Bars uses CVID and CVS score and vector. And this means security impact and package name and package version. Let's take a look at what this line means. If your Git version is 0 Chrome 1.6, uh, that's earlier than that version. So you are using vulnerable version. And also, if you are using 0 Chrome 0 0.9, and that's also area. So you are using vulnerable version. Uh, it's simple. It's so simple. Uh, Bars passes uh, over information and compare software versions on the server. Although uh, Bars looks it uh, easy, uh, implementing this was a bit of a challenge. Uh, whereas Debian uses dev version when defining versions. Uh, it's well defined. Uh, it doesn't look like Red Hat has any clear rules on definitions. So as a result, we had to read the RPM source code and do some guesswork regarding the specifications. Uh, let's take a look at an uh, example. Uh, we've got seven different versions. Uh, these are versions. Uh, tilde, tilde A, one empty string, and tilde, 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 A, uh, 10. Uh, how many of you can sort them from oldest to newest? Uh, based on dev version. If we do sort them, we'd get something like this. The oldest is tilde tilde, and A is the uh, newest. As you can see, sorting algorithm can be a bit tricky, especially tilde and um, empty. How about these two versions? Which one is newer? Well, they both are sort of. If we are dealing with Debian, the one on the left is newer. But if we are dealing with Red Hat, the one on the right is newer. Uh, as you can see, sorting algorithm can be a bit tricky. Uh, but it's what makes Bars such as convenient and useful too. Uh, actually, uh, it isn't easy to compare different versions. When comparing different versions of the other famous open source software, uh, I found a lot of bugs. Of course, I fixed them and sent pull requests. Uh, even when uh, some of uh, bug fixes were for competing to uh, other vulnerability scanner. Uh, another important feature is that Bars uses similar sources for security advisories, uh, which is security information released by vendors uh, such as Red Hat and so on. Uh, security advisory contains advisory ID, uh, CVID, ID, uh, severity, and description, and so on. Uh, for Red Hat, Amazon Linux, Rock Linux, uh, we use a plugin called Young Plugin Security. For FreeBSD, 
we use package audit command. Uh, through these plugin and commands, it's possible to get the information from RHSA, ALS, ELSA, and FreeBSDSA. The following slide uh, gives an example of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And this command shows all updates on the server, as shown here. Uh, but uh, we don't need bug fix updates. And that are not security related updates. So if you use Young Plugin Security, you can search exclusively for security related updates. Bars uses uh, these uh, detailed information. Uh, from these sources. In addition to this, uh, Bars also uses a change log where a history of version changes is recorded. When security issue is fixed, the relevant CBID is added to a list. Uh, example of Bash. And this is a change log of Bash. Uh, for instance, uh, this version is currently installed version on the server. And this is the newest version. As a result, this version of Bash has three variabilities. Once again, uh, left column is fixed CVID and right column is version. And this is a currently installed version. And this is the newest version. Uh, it's possible to create a list of all variabilities uh, <coughs> that needs to be fixed. This is done by passing the change log and analyzing updates between the installed version on the server and the newest version. Uh, it's so simple. <coughs> In terms of new feature, uh, in terms of unique features, uh, since Bars uses SSH to connect to the servers, it can also conduct dynamic scans. Uh, this is done by executing commands on the server in order to get more detailed information. Uh, for instance, an update requires a restart of the process. Bars let you know when restart is still needed to complete an update. For Debian, uh, you can use check restart command. Uh, for Red Hat, you can use needs restarting command. Uh, these are very useful commands. Uh, in the following table, SSHD uh, requires a restart of the process. And the bars let you know that. In terms of new features, we plan on introducing in the future. Although bars currently helps you find variabilities for which there is already an update, we'd like to have bars give information on variabilities uh, for which there is no update yet. Related to this, we intend to add a monitoring function for security trackers, including Debian, Ubuntu, and so on. Uh, in the following table, <coughs> uh, this is a, an example of Red Hat security trackers uh, about CV 2016-86-15. Uh, uh, this table shows platform name such as Red Hat Enterprise Linux 5 or 6 or 7. And package name, such as car or bash, uh, open SSL, and so on. And the status of security updates for each platform and each package. In this case, <coughs> 
uh, fix deferred and affected means there's no update yet. And will not fix means the red hat will not fix this vulnerability. So we, we'd like to give BALS the ability to detect these kind of vulnerabilities in the future. Also, uh, we are planning on introducing a function to notify you if malicious code uh, to exploit particular vulnerabilities has been made public. This is because administrators must act quickly and apply security updates. Uh, since uh, there's a higher risk of being exploited. Uh, this is done by getting information from ExploitDB, uh, Metasploit, uh, and so on. Although, uh, the open source version of BALS uh, only covers information gathering and vulnerability detection phases. BALS source, uh, this is a subscription version, which is currently offered in beta version, uh, supports the workflow in data phases, such as patch verification, and application patch into production. Uh, for instance, just like on Redmine or Bugzilla, you can assign tasks to members and set the trends for fixing vulnerabilities. Balsas has a number of other features, including supporting scan uh, on Windows and Recalculating CVSS score uh, based on your environment. Uh, this is a sample screen of Bart's uh, <clears throat> In closing, uh, I'd like to say that if you haven't used Bart's already, you should. You definitely should. Uh, it's fast first vulnerability scanner with high quality, higher quality than other existing tool. And BARS supports a wide, wide, wide array of operating systems, <coughs> as well as on-premise and on cloud. And BARS is extremely convenient and flexible tool that can be adapted to different security requirements. For example, uh, you, you can use BARS uh, with or without SSH access and root access. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Uh, if, you, if you have any questions, uh, Kota will do his best to answer them. Thank you. Hey, we have a few minutes. Is there a question? Can we use Chinese, English, or Japanese? Can we ask? I have a question that, can I run VOLS in offline mode? I mean, without internet connection? You can scan without internet connection because internet no internet connections. You can you can scan the server. Because uh, only collect the package versions and then uh, match to vulnerability database. The vulnerability database is uh, download from internet. 
but Scania, uh, Scania is, uh, don't need to connect to the internet. Okay, thank you. Hey, hi, Owen Tima. Hey, please. Uh, I have downloaded VOS from the GitHub and uh, tried to uh, do the scan uh, since this afternoon. Uh, I, I found that currently you didn't support uh, login with uh, SSH password. Uh, I want to know why not? Because we have many servers logging with password uh, with uh, OTP. Chinese English? The uh, first version burst, uh, the burst support SSH with password. But uh, someone teach me the way is very dangerous because uh, the root can show, uh, show the user password on the second target server. So, I changed to, to use only key-based authentication. The old issues is um, maybe remaining the details, so you can search on GitHub, Mars GitHub. One-time password. Ah, pull request. Welcome. How? Now, that, eh, yeah, I understand. Ah, that. Have any questions? Have any feature request or any other usage experience? Can ask. Can you ask? 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 Does VAS check uh, the version of VAS? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, uh, I, I was use Rapid7 to scan our company device. Uh, it needs a lot of RAM. Uh, if you don't give it a lot of RAM, it will crash. So I want to ask uh, Val, K 
can scan at the same time how many device at the same time. 它同时可以一一次性的可以同时扫描多少机器，因为之前做 Rapid Seven 它需要很大量的 RAM 去做 scan。那我想问报，在同时间可以做多少机器？这样子，谢谢。Unlimited server, you can scan at once because Vars uh, is uh, written by Go, Go, programming language Go, and uh, internal um, implementation is Vars uh, use Go routine, and you can use you can uh, scan uh, many servers at at at, at once. Maybe 100 servers is it's all possible. Okay. Thank you. The the lar uh, the largest uh, number you you have now is like how many computers at one time? Someone says 100. 100. Okay. 其其实它的扫描架构应该不会有太大影响了，因为它是进去里面扫，所以。是吃每一台的 resource。哎，如果我没有了解错了。Bars server is very light, light, very light, light, not not heavy. Hey, 还有问题吗？ Finish, finish pause. Uh, please, uh, I, I, I count down three, two, one. So you shout, Paris. OK。嗯，对啊。OK。有信号。哎，哎 ，three， 啊 ，two， 啊 ，one， 哎，完成。好了，多谢，谢谢。欢迎大家加入这个宗教。<笑>